Hey guys, what's going on? Um, we're here at East Rotary Park near Fresno State, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about three states of matter. And as a matter of fact, I have something here that'll help me explain that. And it, what it is, is this. A bottle of Diet Coke. I don't like Diet Coke. I like Diet Pepsi, but this is all they had at the liquor store, so that's what you guys get. Okay, so the first state of matter we're going to talk about is a solid. Okay, see there it is. It's the bottle. The bottle is solid. That means that the atoms or the particles that make up the solid don't want to move from their location. They're fixed. They're what we call frozen. Even though, you know, the sun is shining on it and it's out in the open, it's not melting. Just because we call it frozen doesn't mean it has anything to do with temperature. It just means that it's solid at it in norm, in normal, under normal conditions, okay? Of course, if we add thermal energy to a solid, we could definitely turn it into a liquid to melt it down. If we take a look at the second state of matter we're going to talk about, which is this guy. In this case, it's Diet Coke. We, we can just say it's a liquid. And the thing with the liquid is that the particles that make up the liquid, they don't, they don't want to stay stuck together. They like moving around freely. They don't float away unless you add thermal energy to them. In that case, if you pass the boiling point, then the liquid inside of here will turn into a gas. Okay, so if we, so basically, you see the correlation here. You have a solid, you add thermal energy to it, turns into a liquid. If you have li if you have, if you, <laughs> excuse me, if you add thermal energy to a liquid, then it turns into a gas. Now the gas that we're going to be talking about is the CO2 inside this soda, which isn't very much. Um, I don't know, this soda, who knows how old it is, but when I got it, it was kind of flat, which kind of sucks. But um, anyway, so the gas, thing with the particles of the gas, they don't want to be next to each other at all. They want to get as far away from each other as possible. So the only way you can get them back together is by taking away thermal energy, by cooling them down. Like, we could have liquid nitrogen, liquid oxygen. You know, any gas can turn in, into a liquid and a solid, just as long as you take, it, take away enough thermal energy from it. So, let's see. I think that's about all you need to know about the states of matter. We do have another state of matter that isn't really common here on Earth. It's called plasma. I mean... We have plasma TVs, we have like, you know, lamp, lamps uh, that have plasma inside of them. But the most common pla uh, state of matter in outer space is plasma. And I'll give you an example of that. The sun. I hope I didn't bright. I hope I didn't blind you guys. But the sun is made out of plasma. It's superheated gas. Okay? All right, guys. This is this has been a states of matter uh, inquiry. This has been <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. All right, see you guys.